This gator grabbed a hold of the rope and started doing a death roll. Ugh. He's rolling a that's lot. That's a finger, man. That's a finger coming off right there. He's rolling a lot. I'm messing up my rope. Did he just come off? He just came off the rope. He just did, didn't he? He just came off. It was like, oh, God. You know? And what are the chances of catching him again? I've never seen that happen. I mean, we had him. We had him perfect right around the neck. That's one on us. You got to love him. I just want to see if he'll come back. Castell decided to start throwing food in the water. Sure enough, without missing a beat. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yes, we're not coming home empty-handed. When you see a gator beelining where you're at because you're throwing food, that's a nuisance alligator. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You are ours, baby. That's a big one, man. I'll tell you what, that's about maybe pushing an eight. Once the gator takes the bait, one bear makes his move. This is our chance for redemption. Sorry, brother, you're not gonna get away this time. But exactly how they'll land the gator is still up for discussion. Now we have to find a way of getting him out now. Cattail had a brilliant idea. Along the fence line, we were gonna just toss the rope, have him pull on it, and then I was gonna go around and help him. This is perfect right here. That's what I'm saying, you gotta hold on to this. I gotta go down to your level. Can't do anything up here. The problem was that when Cattail had the gator close to the fence, that alligator bit onto that fence and started doing a death roll. Got tangled up just a tad bit. Well, that's what I didn't want right there. Hold on. Hold on. A bad situation. It's like, great, you know, how much worse could it get? Don't, don't, don't bite the fence. Don't bite the fence. Let's go, let's pull. Perfect. There you go. Let's pull. Right through here. <laughs> well, right now we're, we're resting because the gator's tired. And <laughs> so are we. 